Hey, good morning, new guy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, chuckles. Don't run away. Oh, hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. This is Organic Dairyman, and welcome back to my channel today. Today is Friday, December 11th, and it is somewhat of a nice day. I mean, it's not super cold out. It's just a little cloudy, a little cooler than the last couple days, but it's just around 30 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 2 degrees Celsius, so... Yeah, so I hope you guys are doing great. I am doing pretty darn good. And I am just getting ready to work here at some of the feeding chores. I just got done feeding the milk cows their stuff. And yes, we are still letting the cows outside because the weather has been nice enough to do that. And as you saw earlier in the video too, uh, we did milk testing this morning. So we got that out of the way. Um, the milk tester probably came a little bit earlier than last month because because the Christmas or the holiday season he wants to get it kind of out of the way before then get stuff you know he's got other people scheduled and stuff like that so yeah so we got that done and uh, and what else is on the agenda for today um my brother Steve um, that I my younger brother that I farm with if you're new to the channel that's that's what the deal is with that. He is going to um, go haul some manure out of another cattle lot. He just got done actually yesterday, which I did not do a video yesterday. There wasn't really anything too exciting going on. But anyways, he's going to haul some manure out of another cattle lot. And then later, possibly this afternoon, we got a load of hay, um, half, half for hay, young stock hay, whatever you want to call it, coming in. So... Um, it's going to be coming from Mission, South Dakota. That's the town where it is coming. So, uh, yeah. So we got that possibly. And um, and I'm going to work in the plow maybe to here after a little while. And uh, But as long as the weather is fairly nice out, decent, it's not super cold, there's not snow on the ground, we, we're finding stuff to stay busy with in between the regular chores. So... Anyways, we'll get going here and we'll see what the next several days or a few days bring because I try to do sometimes lately. I've been doing videos like covering three day span. So three days for me, the same video for you. That's what it will be. So anyways, we'll get going and see what happens. Everybody, it's uh, Friday, December 11th here today, and I'm out spreading a load of manure. I haven't gotten any footage of this since we've been spreading manure this week, so this side gets footage of it. here is getting a little bit on the frozen side it's about 28 degrees out right now a little while ago when I went to start up um, the 4240 and the TM125 um, the 4240 here I didn't have it plugged in and I had to 
gets ether to get it started. I think I had to give it about three squirts of ether and it probably took about 45 seconds or a minute just to get this thing cranked over to get started. And then I went over and I started up the TM125 and just about as fast as I could snap my finger that thing started up that wasn't plugged in either. It's just unbelievable. Those um, Ford 456 engines, uh, they're just phenomenal when it comes to starting up in cold weather. They're just really good starters. And this 466 John Deere, they just, every one I've seen has been a hard starter. I think they're good engines for the fact that, you know, they seem to have decent power and all that, but when it comes to starting, boy, they're pretty cold-blooded. Okay, I got some of that feed put on the feeder wagon, the high moisture corn anyways. I'm gonna finish working at that in, well, probably when it gets dark, but I gotta keep an eye on that water tank down there because um, we can't have the float hooked up right now because the temperature is, it is below, it's below freezing otherwise the water hose will freeze. So, in the meantime, while I'm waiting, keeping an eye on that, I am going to work on this plow. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would probably already know by now, because by the time this video comes out, three weeks will probably have gone by. Um, I got in the mail, or not in the mail, but the delivery guy, speedy delivery guy, brought these plow chins from, uh, from Shoop. I did order some uh, of the plowshares, but they did not come. Um, these ones on here are ones we had, but the ones from Shoop were on back order. So uh, I guess we'll have to wait. I don't know when they're gonna come. Hopefully they come soon, but if they don't, it's not a big deal. It's not too hard to put them on. If we gotta put them on in the spring, it doesn't take too long. So I'm just gonna work at replacing these plowshares here until it gets too dark to work on it. Then go back to finish loading up the feeder wagon. And, uh, yeah, so uh, work away. Hey, good morning everybody. It is the second day of this video or second day for me anyways Anyways, yeah, it is a little chilly out this morning. Well, it's uh 25 degrees Fahrenheit Like negative four degrees Celsius. I'm just busting the ice here. Let me make sure these guys get some water out of their water tank and <clears throat> 
as you can see we got that load of hay came in this morning uh, it was supposed to come it was supposed to come yesterday but um, he didn't get it loaded as early as he wanted to so he, he didn't want to he didn't want to unload it in the dark so he decided he'd wait till the morning to do it so that's what they're doing up there right now as you just saw so uh, anyways I'm just going about doing my stuff morning chores stuff <coughs> stuff excuse me, my voice still is not back to what it should be here quite yet but it's getting there so I'm gonna work at that and then are we gonna haul some more manure today and try to work a little bit more on that plow I almost got it done there was one nut that was very stubborn I'm gonna have to get the fire fire wrench to, to get that one nut off in the plow uh, you got one plow chin left to replace so we'll see what happens here on this uh cloudy cool cloudy day is it yeah so uh yeah take and heat that one bolt up right down there I can't get it loose like I say I got all the rest last night all of them replaced so uh, now I'm gonna try to get that one replaced or at least at least get the nut off I'm not gonna necessarily replace it right now but at least get the nut off take this back out to the other shed and then uh, get back to my feeding chores here and uh, go back and finish it up later. Okay, I got the feeder wagon all loaded for the milk cows. I gotta blow this hose out here really quick. And then I'm gonna go go to church. And uh, oh, I can screw this thing on. Screw this chuck on here. Okay, that's blowing out. And one other thing, maybe before I go here, quick, I'm gonna quick throw this plow chin on. At least get it on here. There it is. <clears throat> I'm going to take the bolt holes. They line up for the most part. That one's a little off. I don't know why. There's a little bit of crap there. I'm going to have to chisel that off, I guess. <laughs> well, 
I better get going, otherwise I'm gonna be late. Oh boy, it's white out. What is this stuff? Haven't seen this for a while. Well, hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is, today is the 13th of December. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna start this loader tractor up here, and then I'm gonna go over to my cousin Bill's to get their hay grinder over there, because since we got that other hay yesterday, now we can go back to feeding the dry, the right hay to the dry cows, or, or not the dry cows and the young stock, things like that. So, I hope they plugged it in. I sent them a text message last night. And I told them to plug it in, so hopefully they plugged it in. But I got my jumper. I'm gonna bring my jumper cables along and everything just to make sure. Whew. So, I just wanna get this warming up. Why I'm going over there to get the, the hay grinder and then um, Didn't notice, but it's a little bit cooler today too. I guess you saw the snow earlier. Just some flurry, flurries that came through, so it's not too bad. So, anyways, I better go see if I get that uh, the old cold blooded tractor my cousin started. Okay, everybody, I am, uh, well, I am grinding some fourth cut hay now. I just, well, I'm not done grinding all of the, um, the other hay for the young stock. I have to put part of a bale back in there yet because my, I brought it from, over from my cousin's place. They had about two thirds of the bale in there, so I have to, as soon as I get done um, grinding this stuff here, you can see a little pile over there. Then I have to go back up there and drop the other bale in there and finish. Yes, I know that hay grinder is about had it. I don't know, I think next time, um, I think we're just gonna have a custom hay grinder guy come over and do it. He could just grind 20 bales at one time, get it done. But yes, we'll have to pay a little money to have him come, but it won't take him long to grind 20 bales. It's got one of those grabbers on built onto it, I think. So all you gotta do is set the bales right next to it and then pluck it in there because uh, man, that hay grinder it's on its last days it's out of balance and then and it's just vibrating that's why the thing is falling apart it's just so much vibration there but anyways I'm gonna get going with the, keep going with this and uh, then I'm gonna work at the feeding I haven't done any feeding yet because I've been horse around this stuff and I gotta eat I gotta milk again <sighs> Sometimes I hate grinding hay. Uh, 
Okay, everyone, we're all done for the day. And that means this is the end of the video. So, um, I got all the hay ground and everything. And uh, as you saw too, we, we're gonna fed the cows in the barn. And we're gonna leave them in for tonight, probably tomorrow too. And it's supposed to be cold for the next, I don't know, two or three days and it's gonna warm back up again. So then we'll let them back out. So yeah, so anyways, I am tired. I need to get to bed. And it's been a long, a long day. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. Oh, and at Parlor too, at Organic Dairyman. And uh, have a good night. Take care. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for all the comments and all the likes. I appreciate all of them. So anyways, I'll see you in the next video.